didn't anticipate so many visitors this afternoon. I must tell you, I have just returned from a rally, from a march. Why, all the ladies in Dayton are just buzzing. It's a for women's vote. Uh, you know, I think we must have had 30 or 40 ladies on bicycles there today. It was so exciting. But I had to come back home and go over these accounts. You know, my brothers, Orville and Wilbur, may have been the genius of man flight, <laughs> but those two couldn't balance a book <laughs> if their lives depended on it. Oh, this makes me think. It's always been Orville and Wilbur. Wilbur and Orville. Oh. No, it's hard to believe that Wilbur's been gone five years. It's 1912. Oh, how that time has flown by. <laughs> it's hard to believe it's been five years. Here it is, 1917. Find America is now involved in this European war. I fear that my brother's plan for the airplane will not be what they dreamed of. I fear that it's going to be used in this war. I greatly fear that. That certainly wasn't what the boys had in mind. <laughs> oh, well, I really must get back to these accounts. Oh, Orville, I, these are such a mess. I, oh, he said there was one more receipt that he had from his last trip, and, oh, well, if you'd excuse me, please, I, I will be right back. I I'm just going to ask Orville about that last receipt. I'll be right back.